Here are Yelena Berezhnaya and Anton Sikaridlija in their first year together. They have a chance to win a world championship, but that's only a small part of their story. Here's Brent Musburger with an up-close and personal look at a very courageous young woman. All I remember is we were skating and spinning when I felt this unexplainable blow to my head. I kept spinning and I felt like I was falling and then suddenly I felt something dripping. All of a sudden people were all around me. I tried to speak but I couldn't. The ambulance came and took me to the hospital. I don't remember feeling pain. But the doctor asked me questions, but I couldn't answer what my name was, where I lived. They said, say something, but I couldn't. They told me I needed surgery, so I nodded to show I understood. The blade had shattered bone fragments inside Yelena's skull. Doctors performed two brain operations. When I woke up from the surgery, I was in the fog. Everything ached. It took three days before I started to speak again. Oleg was supportive at first. He said we would train and still make it for world championships, but the doctors told me otherwise. First, doctors thought Yelena would be in bed for three weeks. Then they thought six months. I was in shock. I couldn't believe I wasn't allowed to do anything. I cried. I just wanted to go home. Yelena improved quicker than doctors expected. A month later, she went home, but decided to no longer skate with Oleg. After three months of physical and speech rehabilitation, Yelena went back to the ice with her new partner, Anton Sierralutzi. But some might wonder how she could feel safe at all. Why go back to the ice, to the danger? I wanted to go back to skate. I wanted to go back to all my friends who had supported me. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't skate. I like was a little bit of her mother, for her. Then I thought, oh, if it will be my daughter, how will I behave? Because I was afraid. I didn't know how her body will react uh, after she recovered and while she was recovering. Before, I never thought about such things as dropping my partner or falling. Now I have to be extremely careful with her and give her much more attention because any fall can have severe consequences. I think the people around me were more scared than I was. For me, it felt as simple as relearning to walk. She slowly started to walk on ice, do little steps. After a while, like maybe half a month, then she decided to jump her double, triple. I was like surprised and uh, astonished. And even when they uh, started to do that dreadful element side by side, camel spin with a new partner, I told her, Please stay away from each other, stay far. But she didn't show any fear. But there are still lingering effects. I still have difficulty speaking. I can remember the words, but when I speak, there's a trace of an accent. So Russian people think I sound like an American and say hello. Yelena has progressed rapidly, off and on the ice. The pair amazed all at the Europeans where they place third. Yelena has found strength in herself and in Anton. I uh, know that those people who um, had in their lives so much difficulties and they showed their will to continue to do what they like, they will achieve sooner or later. It is amazing that they are even here on the ice, but they have a very real chance of winning a world championship. Well, they are the most ex exciting thing about this couple is their mix of superb unison and very gentle power, and they have enormous potential. Don't even bother looking at that until they get through this move here, oh. which they didn't. He had trouble on the warm-up with his triple jump. Now coming up, a split twist lift. The others all do triples. This couple only a double. But look at the height that they get. The air is just wonderful there. So difficult for them. Ah, uh, again he's down. Now, but. I 
think he swings his free leg kind of wide around and he doesn't have that tight rotation in the air. Well, and it hasn't been easy so far in this free skate, but remember they were in third place heading into this portion of the competition. And if you're in the top three and win the free skate, you are the overall winners. He has such exceptional stretch and line for a male skater, very reminiscent of Sergei Grinkov. And she equally reminiscent of Ekaterina Gordieva. Yes. Now they need the same strength and power and technical ability. Everyone has made some mistakes. But one of the things to look at is the line that the two of them have. They present a very light, classical line and style. And it's so unusual for a pair to be equally, you know, good in both the power and that beautiful body line that they have. And obviously their relationship away from the ice, very important and Anton's support of Yelena through this whole ordeal, coming back from that tragic injury. You know, there's something very interesting happening with the marking in this competition. If you note, right so far, Kazakov and Dmitriev are way down in the ordinals, even though they are in third, third place, and right behind them are Ina Dungeon, very close. With this kind of a, of a mess up here, we could see some very strange shifting of the positions at the end of this pair. And Dick, as we saw at the European Men's Championship this year, when there is no clear-cut winner of the free skate, you can see a lot of shuffling in the leaderboard after that portion of the competition. off on their unison. What a sad moment, what a sad moment. I mean, a year of build up to this and you have one five minute, four minute chance and it's a, not a happy one. Yeah. That's skating, isn't it? Yep. The perseverance has gotten them to this point. It will get them through this as well. You're learning that there is Naya and Anton Sikorinliza of Russia. The watch the marks coming up. Elena bears Naya alongside her coach tomorrow, Muscovina. Uh, but look at these marks. I mean, I mean that dropped them. That has dropped them so far down. They are at least in eighth or ninth place. And remember, they can change these marks. They can change the leaderboard ahead of Beresnaya and Tikarid Lidza. The presentation marks very low as well. 4.4 up to 5.4 for this courageous Russian pairs team. However, at the top, there is no change. Mandy Vutso celebrating. She has just found out that she and Ingo Stoya, for the first time in their careers, are world champions. And this will be a moment Great. they won't forget. 
But the interesting point is that at the top, the point system for the ordinal placements was so widespread, it means that the judges simply could not agree across the board on where they thought the top three should be. And they become the first team to wear gold and represent a unified Germany since 1939. Maxi Herber and Ernst Bayer. <laughs> there you go, Yeltsov and Buzkov capture silver. Artur Dmitriev goes back to the world podium with Oksana Kazakova. Solid finishes for the American teams. Heartbreak for Beresnaya and Sika Ridliza, but they've inspired a lot of people this week.